Hey, it's Saturday again. How you doing? Nice to be back. Well, I am talking to you from my hotel room in Santa Monica, California. I'm out here modeling for Land's End, a wonderful company who treats me very well. Look at this beautiful hotel room. And today I had my fitting, so I had lots of time to chat with you and tell you all about women at Woodstock. So the first thing I want to tell you is that I got to meet and listen to many inspirational women, but one in particular, Suzanne Braun Levine, or Levine, depending upon how you like to pronounce it, whose name I had not recognized. She wrote this book, How We Love Now, Sex and the New Intimacy in Second Adulthood. And she has coined this phrase, Second Adulthood, with her amazing ability to articulate her thoughts and feelings. She also wrote a book, 50 is the New 50, 10 Life Lessons for Women in Second Adulthood, and Inventing the Rest of Our Lives. Now, obviously, I'm speaking to women over 50 who uh, were the, um, the category of women who came and as attendees and uh, presenters at Women in Woodstock two weeks ago. However, I am also wanting to share this with all the women out there who are under 50. You could be 15, you could be 25, 35, 40. It's just so wonderful to have women that you can consider your mentors and your guides to help you maneuver through all these different dimensions of life. And she is clearly doing that for women who are past 50, which she's calling second adulthood. And articulating it that way is not to separate all the women over 50 from women under 50, um, but it's to clarify a stage of life that, that most people share in common. And after 50, you're probably an empty nester, not necessarily, but most likely. And uh, possibly you've had a good long career and you're kind of done with it and you're not sure what you want to do next. Um, you may never have had a career and all of a sudden you're fired up to do something, but maybe you're thinking, yeah, but I'm over 50. How's that going to happen? Etc. Etc. You get my point. So it's really nice to be able to hear from women that have already gone through that and already maneuvered those stages successfully to then share with the younger generation, um, some some good pointers on how to get through that and maybe not have to go through so much trial and error. So she gets up and she's introduced and I don't have a clue who she is and she starts talking and when it dawns on me who this woman is, she was the founding editor of Ms. Magazine. She was basically Gloria Steinem's right-hand woman. They created Ms. Magazine. She is the foremother of the women's liberation movement. She is the leader of, of everything that we're doing now and <laughs> inspiring women like me and, and all the presenters at Women at Woodstock to, to follow our passion, to not allow society or anybody to intimidate us with any kind of imaginary limitations and to trust ourselves and just go for it. Whatever it is, just go for it. So as she's speaking and it dawns on me more and more it, that, <laughs> you know, she is one of the history makers. She's in the books, the history books. And she was just talking to us like a girlfriend. So real, so direct, so connected. 
and making sure we knew that we are still sensual, sexual, feeling creatures and that nothing's going to stop us from having a good time. Whatever that looks like to you or me, go for it. Basically, it was just a bunch of awesome women having a great time. And the thing that I thought was the most impressive was how we all traded off being the guides and the teachers or being the students and the followers. Um, the dynamic between all of us just kept shifting and morphing in this organic way and everybody was humble enough and allowing enough for that to happen. So I would find myself sitting in front of my group and doing my presentation and then we'd get to talking and someone would ask a question and then all of a sudden it would morph and one of the students in my seminar would start speaking and then we would all start listening and kind of look to her as the teacher and vice versa. Um, and there were moments where all of us were like children, young women going, wow, what's next? Woo. And then there were other moments where we were high-fiving each other, like, yeah, we got it together. <laughs> this age thing rocks. It was pretty remarkable. So come, think about coming next year special very special so you can go to the website women at woodstock and read about it and you can go to the facebook page and we're all posting comments and things as the days go by all right i think that was an earful i'll see you next saturday <laughs>